Hey guys, gals, friends, and pals, this is Paul, EastX Twitch. We're taking a quick look at Frostpunk Console Edition for Xbox One. I've always been interested in this game because of the title, Frostpunk. It doesn't get better than that. Hey Audrey, how are you doing? Oh, Audrey 1, I like that, because, you know, there's Audrey 2 from Little Shop of Horrors, and I can only assume that you're the first Audrey before Audrey 2 came along. Darker Player, that's a very strange thing to say, but it involves tawdry romances, and I do like those. Proceed to continue, let's do it. Frostpunk. Quick look at the settings. I always have to look at settings. It looks like there's going to be some snow involved. <gasps> Temperature scale. Let's change it to Fahrenheit because we're Americans. At least I am. Auto save interval. Every day. Why not? Just try that for now. Audio. What about subtitles? That all looks good. All right. Ugh. Complicated controls. Let's do it. Hey, Perfect Zero. Glad to see you. Interesting, Jono. Very interesting. A new home. Let's do it. So I live in Texas where it doesn't snow very much, but you know, we did, you know, I was streaming back in the day, what, like two, three years ago when it snowed around Christmas time? We roam the that was a fun time. Cold world. No horizon is Two shot. achievements. Ah. The rulers of old. Stripped with pride and glory. Ooh, this is pretty interesting. It feels Deadpool, like glad you made it. The wheels of progress. Until the frost. Deadpool, do you know of anything that might have lapsed recently? Suddenly, I'm just asking for a friend. Not a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us. No matter wealth or class. Do any of you guys live? near snow, you know, in snowy areas. I like that first that Jono and Perfect Zero have. Is that because you guys have been subscribers for so long? Aw, thank you, Deadpool. You're the best. In fact, you're double the best. Which is at least twice as good as the regular best. We bid farewell to plenty. For those who remained, came the time to adapt. Is this we based on that movie with Chris homes, Evans where he's on a train and goes all around the world? I never saw it. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind. Oh, and you've got the first two. All right, good, good. That made us. Yay, we'll play. Thank you for resubscribing. Excellent. Twelve months that indeed. Us Thank you so much, you guys. Slowly. Step Four of my best step. supporters right here. Love hanging out with you guys. We knew the cost of our journey. And we paid the price. So we know it's Hundreds snowy and hard. That's about all I can say for the story so Finally, far. Hey, Corporal Hitman, how are you? I like the picture. To build Game the audio may be a bit off. I like the just figure okay tell me if it's a little quieter now a new home we fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered see now all that makes sense why couldn't they have said that while they were showing it some of us managed to reach the generator and found it frozen solid and abandoned we should expect the worst now the world as we know it has crumbled so this is a post-apocalyptic scenario okay let me know if it's quieter now though In fact, I'll turn it down even a little bit more. There you go. That's got to be quieter now. Fight the cold. We need to get it working. It provides heat and power to other buildings. Without it, we'll freeze to death. Yo, Thyrenia, glad to see you. Wearing that number one, that first, along with some of our other friends here. That is very good of you. And Knee Slapper's here. How's it going, Knee Slapper? Music. Um, okay. To zoom in and out, use the right stick to rotate. 
All right. Inoperative. Use depot to start. Not enough coal. We need six coal. So how do I get this coal? We need resources. To get them, we have to assign people to work. So this is a real-time strategy game. We all love those, don't we? I'll bring over a workplace. Press A to select it and assign the workforce. Press right trigger to open shortcuts. Okay. I don't know what a workplace is, but I am going to look. That's a workplace. Oblivion, thank you for resubscribing. Oblivion, friend of Deadpool and and myself, always an awesome guy. Link and Cloven Casey, glad to see you both. We are playing on Xbox One, of course. Ooh, you're gonna go see Terminator. I'm looking forward to hearing what you think of it. I have not read any reviews, so I have no idea how good it is. Okay. One out of fifteen workers. When I assign workers, it doesn't make them, you know, it doesn't make like a happy worker thing, unfortunately. This needs another worker. So we got to get that coal. There are places in the world where you would not want to receive coal for Christmas because it means that you have been naughty. And do I get these workers back after they mine all the coal? That's one thing I'm wondering. Nice, Perfect Zero. You enjoyed it as well? You know, I actually like Terminator 3 and even Terminator 4, even though that one's not that good. But it was good enough for me, I guess, is how I'd say it. Can I start up the generator? I can! Let's do it. Look at it, it's all fiery and cool looking. I can zoom in on it. Detail. Look at those details. This game has a good engine. You can see people walking through the snow. That's so cool. Jacob Ridley. Biggest concern is the lack of shelter. Yep. It's not good. Oh, almost good as Terminator 2. That's exciting. Really? Why, Icky? Icky, tell me how all this works. I have no idea. You could be on mic talking to me, coaching me. I'm trying to stockpile some coal, so I'm just putting all the workers on the coal. Come on, guys. We got a deadline to meet. Let's do this. I'm doing what Icky did not recommend. Oh, he's saying it takes too long for everybody to walk over there. But, I mean, like, I really love the visuals of it. Use left trigger to open the command hub. Access command menu by... Okay. Construction of buildings and streets. Only people who are not currently at work can build structures. Controlling time. Left and right control game speed. Temperature. So you have to worry about temperatures in this. That's interesting. Build paths and work huts. Hey, Jelly Donut. Glad to see you. Yeah, so, uh, so far this is pretty impressive. I need to build a hut or something for people to live in. Book of Laws, Economy, City Info, Construction. Tent. All right, looks like we're building a tent. Now I have to build some streets. Complicated. Thank goodness I have Icky here to help me out. Someone's texting me. There we go. We're building the street all the way to our mining site. Well, we're trying to. It looks like I can't. All right, so let's see how all that goes. We can speed things up. Look at that, it's going faster. All the people walking around. I wish I could zoom in even more, but it's still really cool. Go 
or pass through the snow and all this mad stuff. Yeah, it's a future. Hey, Weeboo Hair! We are glad you made it. How's the hair looking tonight? Mine is nicely covered up by my Cuphead hat. I had some major hat hair going on earlier, though. All right, should I build more shelters, Icky? Do I need more than one? Do we finish mining this place? Is that what happened? I don't know what's happening. There's no more people at it. Like what, what is this? Steel wreckage. Ooh, let's mine that. Okay, shall we build a path to it? Yeah, I don't know what's happening. We're out of coal. Oh no, they fell ill due to cold in their workplaces and homes. Build medical posts. All right, so I need to build. Oh no, the generator's shutting down because we're out of coal. I thought we were all mining the coal. Uh oh. I think everyone's just gonna die. I can't build anything. At least my people have a place to live now. I mean, that's better than... Icky, coal and wood is what I need to run the heater. Why is nobody working anymore? What happened, Icky, with the coal and stuff? Yeah, but there's other places with coal, right? Like, over here. Could not assign any citizen to work. Like... What's happening to the people who were over here? Does that mean I mined the place out? There's some coal. There we go. They're gonna go over there, right? The heating is off. Everyone's gonna die. Oh, is that why? Coal and wood with 100% of workers. Okay, where do I get wood, Icky? Because I don't see any... Maybe over here somewhere? Way down here, there's... I don't know. It's, what's that? More coal. I see. Look at that. It's really a beautiful game. Okay, so I have too many people... No... Icky, where do I get wood? Tell me already. Well, there's coal. Okay, now will it let me build something? Because I need to build the medical place, but I don't have a way to build it because it doesn't show up over here. That's weird the way the streets work. Let's build a street up here. Oh yeah, the generator's down. Okay. Let's work on the... Yeah, we want to leave it at low generation. Okay, just focus on coal. So what about the steel that I sent some people over there to collect? Is that okay? And the, the paths they make through the snow, does that speed things up after they've made the path? All right, everybody keep collecting stuff. Going in fast forward. Dang, you're right, the holiday stream is coming fast and I'm gonna have to do a lot of emailing for that. But not until, say, the end of November, around there. Okay, good, so. Paths stay pathed out, that's good. Discontent. Should I build another place to live, Icky? 
I mean, the game actually is playing fine with the controller. I'm not having any kind of problems with that. Secure a way to provide raw food and build a cookhouse. Okay, I need multiple places to live, so let's build a place over here. Some egg loose. Might as well, right? Yeah, well, I see, like, there's. I don't know what the symbols mean. There's medical and the up thing, if that's temperature. Low risk of getting ill. He doesn't have any shelter for the night. Okay, so I do have to keep on building more shelters. Got it. Well, let's do that. I need to build more streets. Hey, Paul. Hey, Thomas, how are uh, you? All good, good yourself. I like the street building in this. Well, I'm sleepy, very sleepy, but otherwise yeah, good. You need oh. to focus on houses. Uh, there, you'll notice a little red 70. That means there's 70 people. Gotcha. All right, you'll I think we're going to... Why is it in trouble? Uh, the symbol on top of the generator. Okay. Right, but why? What does it mean? Most likely it's out of coal, but it's shutting it down. But everyone's working on coal. I mean, like, how much more can I do? Uh, no, that's the thing. You have to be careful how you, how you expand, because if you expand too quickly, you can't sustain your population. Am I expanding that quickly? Hey, Giant Head Mutant Baby! Love the name! It's the game. That's interesting. Yes, it's got this nice ambient audio. Nice ambient audio going. Sorry. Oh yeah, Jackbox Six would be so good for this year's stream. I sure hope we are able to get it. I mean, at the very least, I'll buy a copy on my own. But I would really love to get a free copy and get some copies to give out. That's a good holiday stream. But I don't think we're gonna have as many prizes as last year. You know, it's gonna be, you know, maybe maybe 10 prizes if we're really lucky you know if a lot of people come through something like that uh you want to focus on building your buildings as the, especially the residential as close to the uh generator as possible that helps uh, with the warmth uh, oh okay so you'll notice the circle around it that's the primary heating zone that makes sense okay i'm out of wood to build housing so where do i get that have to look for supplies, uh, like just have broken down structures to mine. You don't have the ability to mine the actual uh, frozen trees yet. No, I don't. Should I just go and fast forward till they pick up more stuff? You can if you're comfortable with that. The number of sick is rising, and we don't have enough materials to build a medical post. Perhaps a short burst of effort could help us gather the resources. Consider signing the emergency shift law. Let's do it. New ability, you can force workers in any facility to work for the next 24 hours. It'll raise discontent. Ooh, child labor. That's fun, you can have child labor. Yeah, that makes sense, Icky. Cemetery, corpse disposal. So this is actually just things you research? Yep, you basically can research uh, almost everything. Can I research uh, more than one at a time? No, uh, each, uh, it's, uh, as you do things in the game, it unlocks research. Uh, and you can basically pick a different path, uh, but each instance allows one uh, research option. Each okay, well, uh, option gives you a positive and a negative, so you have to weigh the balance. Gotcha. So shouldn't I do the medical, because it was saying I should build medical stuff earlier, but should I actually build something else? It's whatever you think is best. That's the whole idea. Is uh, you're trying to decide what's going to get your people to survive. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Soup. 
What lets me build cook houses? What, uh, it doesn't let you build anything specifically. Usually, it affects how things happen. So, if, if you highlight each item, you'll notice it tells you what the advantages and disadvantages are. Hope will follow so this. Uh, if you put food additives, you're actually adding salt dust to the food. So right. People get more full, but they're actually more likely to get ill because it's not actually food. So, it sounds like soup would be better, right? Again, it's your call, dude. Uh, there are, I played one round where I used the additive because I was not getting enough food supplies, and then used a, a round where I used soup because my people were unhappy. All right. I hate soup. All my life has been thin gruel and empty promises. Who asked you, Josephine? So, do you think I have enough resources to build another house yet? Uh, I can try. Uh, Let's look. Uh, the top shows whatever your resources are. Uh, the planks symbol is the yes, amount of wood you have. All right. Um, so it's at one. That is not good. Is it because I built too many roads? Basically, yes. Uh, in the very early game, it's usually best just to let them have some just know while you worry about getting the housing. My bad. It's slower, but it's safe. So should I... There's not really much I can do except let... I mean, I have no way to get any more wood, so what am I going to do? Uh, uh, if you can't find any more wood, you basically run out of time. And uh, why well, if you die? So, I'm going to lose? Probably. Well, why can't we just... It looks like you built a lot of structures too quickly. Well, the game didn't tell me not to. Steel wreckage depleted. It's not going to tell you not to. The idea is you choose what you do to survive. Oh, boy. <laughs> Thanks, Wolfie. But I've got lots of coal. What do I do with all this coal? Keep the engine burning, but that's not going to help if people will have no shelter. Right. Earlier there was some kind of like wood symbol in the upper right. Yeah, but Iron ore. No, I mean like on the land, something I did like looked like it had a direction toward to where I could go to get wood, but I guess not. It was really well, stuck that was in this. Exactly. That, that's the tutorial mode, of course. Pointing you what to notice that it's wood. Uh, in this case, until you can harvest those trees, uh, wood just looks like planks uh, or uh, broken wood uh, piles. But it looks so like you've already just taken all of them. And unless you right now have poor deposit, uh, full deposits. I can introduce a new law. All right. What about any, will any of these laws help me? Not as far as gathering, well, they can see affect your ability to gather resources, but it's not going to give you resources. For example, right. emergency shift means uh, people work longer hours, but they're going to get more likely to get sick, and they're uh, also going to get very, very unhappy. Fight arena, uh, get people to, uh, of course, be happy, but it also means, uh, again, more than likely to get hurt. Like I said, everything is a counterbalance. Well, I mean, I really like the game, except for this whole you could get screwed over and not be able to progress anymore because you... Oh, wait, look. Now I have 17 wood again. So do I build a new house or do I just save it? Yes, I would focus on the housing. Because if they don't have anywhere to live, they're not going to live uh, survivor. So they must collect a little bit... Like they collect a little bit ambiently or something? No, there must have been a supply they were still working on. Okay. Uh, keep it inside the, the main ring. Keep the housing as close as possible to the inside. Alright, there you go. More housing. God, the engine is so gorgeous. Temperature changes affect the whole city. Upper right hand corner has a weather forecast. I see. Hey Tyler, how are you? I was thinking, I mean, should I go a few more minutes or should we just switch over to the mainstream? Uh, I'm thinking you're not going to win this round, this game. So, so yeah. unless you want to start over, you might as well just switch over. Housing problem, no roof over our heads. I'll provide some shelter. I'll provide shelter for everyone. Let's see if we can do that. 
how much time they're going to give you to do that. Oh, now crap. Two days to yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I can say that Frostpunk is a really deep, interesting, real-time strategy game that has a wonderful engine, so it is actually just a joy to look at and move the camera around and things like that. And, uh, yeah, it looks like it wouldn't hurt me to read up a little on the game before I give it another shot. So this is on Xbox, PlayStation 4, and PC, is that right? Yep. Uh, I played it on PC. Uh, it's really deep. I think it's game with gold, uh, or, uh, uh, Xbox, uh, Ultimate Pass, whatever the heck the thing that you get it for free on Xbox. Game Pass? Is it on Game Pass? Game Pass that's the hey, Brandy! Game I hope Brandy. you're enjoying the play that you've gone to see. She's out of play. If you want me, I'd like. Yay, of course we do, Tyler. Alright, we're going to wrap things up. So, Frostpunk is on consoles now. It is a really cool strategy game, and I look forward to playing it more. Thank you so much to the publisher for providing it. Thanks for helping me out, Thomas. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Really what? Really brutal as far as the difficulty curve, but that's actually what makes it so cool. Yeah, I can see it. It's kind of compelling in that respect. I hope you're able to as well, Jono. Okay, if you're watching live, please stick around. We're going to go offline for about five minutes and come back to play some Mabel in the Wood and give out some Xbox copies and also some random Steam games. That's going to be fun. So whatever you do, stick around, and remember, don't hate. Appreciate it. See you guys.